This is Cheeks in the Philippines. Uh, today I want to talk about the elections in the Philippines. So let's get at it. So periodically I get emails from the U.S. Embassy here in the Philippines. And here is one I got recently. It says, uh, 2022 Philippine presidential and local elections are scheduled to be held on May 9th, 2022. As the election nears, we remind U.S. citizens and foreign nationals that foreign nationals are prohibited by Philippine law from engaging in political activities in the country. The election period officially ends June the 8th, 2022. Here's the thing, for their safety during the election period, foreign nationals, including U.S. citizens, are discouraged from participating in large rallies or crowds. In the Philippines, it's very dangerous during the election time. A couple of things they got going on. Uh, well, let me show you some of the things here. Uh, here's where an election officer gunned down in the central Philippines. People will get killed here during the election time. Here's another one. Here's another article from Newswise. It says election violence in the Philippines has worsened since 2004, contrary to claims by the government in previous research. Election violation in the Philippines is largely, is largely by identified assassins and fruitful investigations are rare. Here's another killing on uh, Binar News, as you can see. So it's very dangerous here in the Philippines. Uh, you know, if, uh, if uh, say that I'm running against you in an election, uh, you can have somebody kill me. That way you will win the election. In the Philippines, they have uh, barangays. A barangay is like a small neighborhood. Well, each barangay has its own elected officials. They have the barangay captain, uh, then they have the councilmen, and I hear about it very often that, well, I know in our barangay, one guy that was running for a barangay captain on the last election, he was coming, he was driving his car, and there were two guys on the motorcycle behind him that were following him. And they pulled up beside him, they had guns, but he was able to get away. So it, it's dangerous here. I know my wife, before we got married, she was extremely poor. And she'd do anything she could to make money. One of the things she did during election time is uh, she would collect the ballot boxes and transport them to the place where they count the ballots. Well, it's very dangerous because lots of times people will come and steal the ballot boxes they hurt the people that's carrying the ballot boxes in some cases i've heard where they kill the people carrying the ballot boxes so just to recap elections in the philippines are very dangerous some of the things they got going on in the philippines is uh there are there's no yard signs like they have in, in the states but there are signs everywhere you can see here, uh, this is a, a sign for a lady running for, she's running for something. They put them on the side of these vehicles. This is an advertisement here. They put them on the back of tricycles. Here, I'm just riding down the road and all these signs everywhere. Here's another picture of a advertisement on the back of a jeepney. Here's one. And they got these vehicles, and they blare the sound out of these loudspeakers. Each candidate has its own theme song. So it's, man, it's just noisy. It's very annoying. So I'll be glad when it's over. And they, they ride everywhere. Okay, here's a parade that they're doing. Um, as you can see, they got balloons on the cars. And they're just... They'll have parades for each candidate. Here's a picture of, or here's a video of a
Top of a jeepney. You can see they advertise them for this guy. And then here are people walking. They'll walk in lines and walk for miles and miles and miles. Uh, they're all wearing shirts by a certain candidate. They'll have these walking parades and they just walk around the different areas just to show support for the candidate. You can see the line is very long. Hey, thanks for watching. Keep looking up. God's watching. He loves you. If you want to know more about God and creation, I've got a link in the description below. Uh, it's well worth your watch. So take care. I'll see you next time.